Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Friday Frothy, another big edition. Tonight, we're going to cover off things like Glenny, a bit of temp in bowling, a bit of the rugby union. We're going to cover off on Alex Peroni's dinner next week. We have got darts, we've got football, cricket, we've got cricket horse racing galore. Hang around, guys. Grab yourself a frothy. This is the Friday Frothy. Grab yourself a beer. Hello and welcome back. We're back. <laughs> We're back, mate. Good, mate. It's been an absolute massive uh, amount of work this week, I've done. Massive. 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 It's been a big week. Uh, we, we we did well. We won our bowls the other night. That we was good. on fire. I wasn't, but the team were. <laughs> no. Uh, we had a little bit. We're not talking about that. At any rate, we'll just keep moving on. We we did well. and uh, We did, mate. We did. We, we've got so much sport to cover. Mate, it has been massive once again, and we've got a couple well, of big announcements to talk we to have. about tonight. So hang around, guys, because yeah. there's some big things coming up. Um, first of all, if you're new to the show, welcome. My name's Jeff, and this is Glenn. And uh, we get on here every Friday night, normally 6 30, 7 30. Oh, you're good. You're all right. Let's go. Yeah, you're good. Hello, I'm <laughs> Jeff, and this is Glenn. Are we starting from scratch here, or what? We've got a technical issue. No, 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 no. I just no. forgot to turn the screamer off. Ah, <laughs> no, we've got a screamer. Pardon me. As a there bloke screams on us. Anyway, show. guys, yeah, we talk about sports every Friday night, seven thirty. We're usually live. We, we we try and cover majority of sports that we like. Yeah, but uh, we we're also as the year goes on, we'll cover as much as we can, in, including gridiron, everything, and hopefully in an life. entertaining way you know. with a froth. Yeah, with a froth, and, and that's what we do on our show. It's all about light-hearted <laughs> sports uh, entertainment. I call it. So, uh, sports done differently. I don't know about the entertainment, Glenny, but oh, well, it's sports done differently, we're that's in, for sure. We're, we're certainly Just a big uh, hello to the Connie the Cow crew out there, the bunch of Jeffs, if they're watching this evening. i uh, got their little stubby cool there. And yes, and uh, thanks yeah. to Corey for his oh. uh, Friday frothy uh, stubby holders. Yeah, Glenny had trouble doing the show if we didn't have a sponsor we in have got uh, the Corey. Best. We got the best in town, haven't we? We're lucky. If you're in Hobart, guys, and you need a pergola, a deck, Anything done landscaping. Corey's Garden Landscaping, that's oh. what we want. So, uh, and that's what you want, because uh, the guy uh, actually rang me again the other day. He's a workaholic, and, uh, isn't he? He's trying to palm off a little bit of work at the moment, mate, but he's uh, flat out, he's, the reason he hasn't even been coming around lately, I think he's been working yeah. all hours of the night as usual. Yeah, so thank you, Corey. Probably working under floodlight. And let's give him some more work. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's give you some more work. Let's have yeah. a little bit of a sing. So Corey's here we go. Gardening. Yeah. And landscaping. Yeah, let's keep him busy, hey, viewers. So, serious guys, you've got anything to do in your yards around Hobart? Get onto this guy because he's he's, he's a gem and he's good. He keeps uh, he's on Facebook. He's on everything. He uh, keeps a record of his. <laughs> well, he's, he's Facebook all his mates and that, and he's done work for everyone that I know. So the Queen, yeah, the Queen even. You yeah. know the Queen, I do. And he's also just lined us up our next special guest. Now I know we've uh, got a we've well, got, it's we've, a Melbourne theme. We, well, but North Melbourne, 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 isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, it is. <laughs> where's, where's the Hawthorne players? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well. The, yeah, well, we've got to work on that. We do have a couple of guests in the that. pipeline, as we know, but we're getting close to Christmas, so we it's are. pretty hard to tie these people down. It, and, it is. And being sports people, yeah. they're, they're pretty busy as well. Especially we're all busy. We're, everyone's busy. Al's busy. You're busy. But, mate, we're going we're gonna to announce it? We're going to announce it? Announce it. We're going to announce busy. it? Yeah, we are. He played number 20, jumper, for yeah. Melbourne Demons. Played mainly down back, and that defender. Uh, big, tall defender from... Uh, I think he originates from over in Mount Stewart, in, oh, not Mount Stewart, in, uh, Lena Valley, sorry. Played Lena Valley. North Hobart? Played for North Hobart and uh, was recruited and went to Melbourne and was a, a mainstay on the uh, half back line yeah. and back line for Melbourne. He was nominated for, many for, years. for, um, oh, for one of the awards. I can't remember what it is, but we'll have a look but at it because we've only just been told this he tonight. Was, he, was, so. he was crueled a little bit by injury and he came back to uh, his local club, North Hobart. Yes. Uh, where he, he, I think in one game there, like I could be making this up, Colin, but I think he kicked about nine to ten goals in one game at a, at a, a, as you're getting in your twilight of your yep. career. And I think you may have, I don't know if you're going to go around again this year, 
But when, well, you'll tell us when you're on the show. Yeah. So I don't know if you pulled the pin or. Well, but absolute. No, again, an absolute star. Yeah. Uh, who's played at the top level. Yeah. And uh, he did very well when Melbourne were doing well. 141 too. games, Glenn. That's true. For, for the so Melbourne Demons. Had he played one, he still would have been a star, but uh, well done. Live in the Frothy Bar. He's coming in. He's coming in the lot, in the bar. I think he's a big boy, too. And he's like, well. He's a bit taller than us. I've got a bit Hopefully. Yeah. Not this Friday, because next it's Friday. Off of ants. Mm. Next Friday is the Alex Peroni night, which we're going to have a bit of talk about that. We, we're we, gonna we do. are, because uh, we'll the be there. Alex, I'm, I'm excited now. I'm, I was, yeah, I'm yeah. getting excited. But the week now, after right? Glennick, yep. Colin Garland in the Frothy Bar, live. Oh. The 20, well, 22nd of November. We haven't done too so bad, have we? Yeah. Well, we, we have done what we might do, we might keep like a little. Uh, frothy Hall of Fame of people that we've had on, yes. like a little plaque yeah. with all the different names. Yeah. So we'll get a, I'll get a frame and I'll Smashing put the glass in it. Idea. We'll, we'll keep oh, adding to it. Do you know what glazier? Uh, yeah, I do. New Tech Glass. Uh, Glenn Cleary's name is yeah, uh, right. 0419 for all your glazing. Uh, possibly don't ring before Christmas because you mightn't get <laughs> so, so, so thank you thank you once again Corey our, our, our sponsor yep. for, for lining up Colin for us and Colin if you're watching mate we, we, we can't wait to uh, have a chat with you I do believe hope, hope you're still watching out there Carl I know we haven't seen you for a while big fella yeah, but uh, yes. I know you've been busy you mate so you hope everything's that. going well you and your family now, guys, um, we normally start off our show with a segment called uh, Out With It, yep. and we're going to change it up a little bit just tonight. Okay. Just a little bit. Very good. A um, bit of sad news has come out today. And, not good. Uh, no. <laughs> it's no, good, good, not good. Not good. No, not good. Um, uh, former supercar, well, probably wasn't supercars, but V8 racing um, commentator Mike Raymond, he's, he's died at the age of 76 uh, after a battle of pneumonia. Mm. Um, Raymond was the voice of Australian touring cars for two decades. And I pretty much grew up listening and, with, and, with him, and, and with him, yeah. a very, very distinguished voice. Yep. And, uh, and and I've had a couple of a couple of chats with people um, through Messenger today, and also was over it, Facebook. Was he like about Dennis? Is it Dennis Eastlake? Was, was he like him? Daryl. Daryl. Oh, Daryl. No, he was very. He had that. Didn't but he? yeah, different. But he, he and well, this guy Mike Raymond was also around when. Um, uh, race cam started. You know when they started putting the big yes. cameras in the actual in cars, the actual cars. And they were starting to talk okay. to people yep. in the car. Yep. So he was involved in that sort of stuff. With I think okay. his name was Jeff Healy, okay. if I'm right. But um, just in you know, we just thought tonight, Glenny, that well, we're, uh, we're going to show our respects. Yes, yeah, and just show a little bit of a clip if we yeah. can, okay. producer All right. of uh, of Mike Raymond. R.I.P. Australia's great race has produced many firsts down through the years, but perhaps nothing to equal the introduction of Seven's race cam a decade ago. The in-car camera device was the brainchild of Australian television network executive Jeff Healy. His Sydney engineering team gave television viewers a world first, and race cam was soon modified to become a full pan and tilt unit, including some fascinating commentary from the flight deck. For Bathurst 79 and 1980, we kept the cameras inside the car. But in 81, we went outside with little Heady. That's Headley. The headlight camera was an instant hit and came with its own washers and wipers. The forerunner of our intricate Clearview system, which Seven has patented internationally. Yes, there you go, Glennie. One of the... Uh, oh, Frotho. Frotho for my no, I'm going to... Uh, to Mike and uh, all the family and that I hope like, obviously it's not a a fantastic time but uh, a reasonable innings I suppose 76 and, uh, 76 yeah. it's not that old is it no but, uh, no being a great man but uh, I suppose uh, unfortunately in life mate we all go through this and we do just another we've just lost another the game of life no personality one wins. Uh, and another person that's uh, left this great earth mm. anyway Mike Raymond rest in peace yeah. and uh, let's get on with the show mate we will uh, guys as I said before we start off with a, with a segment called Out With It and Out With It is basically anything that gets on our goat during the week and in sport and oh I was just going to say can we as we're going into it oh I know there's something's not on our running show. That's all right. Can I just quickly say? Do it. Well done to Ash Barty, because we've always mentioned Ash Barty, but uh, she just won the uh, 6.4 mil. Yes. Yeah, it's coming up. I'll just leave that now. Back to you, Jeff. We'll come, we'll come back to that. <laughs> Sorry, it is on the show. He's out. Now he's out. Ah, out with it. 
Sorry. So. <laughs> Sorry about that, viewers. Well, well A, yes, yeah, she did. I and, jumped and, I and jumped it, in. And it is on later on. Yeah, Glenn just sorry. said the beers are going down really nicely. Well, so didn't just be prepared for that. No, um, that. Secondly. No one told me. Out with it as things would get on a goat. And why would Ash Buddy get on a goat? Well, she wouldn't get on a goat. No. She's a, we love Ash Buddy. All right, let's get into this, mate. The cricket. Oh, uh, Renee is on there too. By Hi, the Renee. Hello, thanks Renee. for joining us. Thanks, and kids. Thanks for joining us again. Well, she's sweltering up there, thirty-six or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's about hot. minus five down here. Minus so, five, uh, Renee. So you can laugh at us uh, on the show tonight. That's why we've. That's why Jeff uh, is a little bit more solid than me. He's gone the uh, short sleeves. Solid. I, I'm, I'm still a little bit. I'm going the long sleeves tonight. Now, Glenny. Mm, sorry. We spoke about this last week. The crowds in the cricket, the T20 against Sri Lanka Deplorable. and now against Pakistan, have been really, 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 really ordinary. And they, they're a good side, Pakistan. Too. They are. So they come with a pretty big following. So what's going on? Well, I've, I've put it down to three things. Is is the price of the tickets yeah. too dear? Yeah. I, yeah. Is it because it's not on TV? I, I was I was away it's for... not on TV. No, I was away for work uh, it Monday, TV, Tuesday. It? And no, the, it the last game, you had to have Foxtel to watch it. And, and the hotel I was staying in didn't have Foxtel. So, um, yeah. So basically, I didn't get to see it. Is that a reason why people are turning away from it? And third of all, is it because there is cricket overload? You've got T20 games, you've got 50-50s, you've got test matches, you've yep. now got the IPL, you've got the BBL, you've got all these different... Are people, you can watch every nation is on just, every... Is it too much? Yep. I, I think it is, and, I, and we spoke about it with all sports now, that uh, whether it be golf or cricket or whatever it is. But we've got so many commentators and uh, so many that are, they actually dissect every little thing, don't they, on, on uh, these in these sports now. And uh, I think you might be right, mate. I think it's just too dear. On the, in the big cities too, they've got to get in. Mm. So if they're playing at the SCG. Yeah. They've got yeah. to get, with all the traffic. Yeah. Imagine, uh, but normally they're through the week, aren't they? Yeah. So that's my... Which is stupid. So that, that to me... But, it, but even their weekend games have been have been quiet. Well, been, there's been I know. like 8,000 people at a game. Now, what I was going to say was... Money. Do you Do you think... Well, this is going to be a, a egg on the face... But do you think that there's going to be more people attending our BBL matches than there are the Australian matches? Possibly. And that's not a good thing. No, it's not. I think the pyjama <laughs> cricket is what we're talking about. Isn't yeah. It? I think, yeah, yeah that's, all, that's all it take. And well, people, because the kids love it, because they can get in and it's all over, isn't it? Within mm. 20 overs. It's not good. Way. It's not a good look. It's not, I, a, it's it's not a good a look. And no, we're, we're, we're striving to be probably it's, the best... Yeah, yeah. You know, the best test side. Because yeah. at, at the end of the day, it was always, everything was always worked on how good you was as a test side, not as a 2020 side. No. no and I think this things, is things, this is the problem, Jeff. Yeah. It's all about bums on seats, isn't it? Anyway, if you've got any thoughts on that, guys, yeah. uh, send in, well, make a comment. But this is what we want. We want you guys now to start, let, get on here and, yeah. and, uh, and interact with us mm. and, and give us your thoughts. If we're talking crap, Tell us we're talking crap, but if you've we're got a pretty good much idea, talking crap. yeah, the to, got the inbox. Yeah, now. but if you've got a good idea how to fix it, <laughs> yeah, don't ring Glenn, ring Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Glenny, number number two on the on the out with it uh, tonight, yes. and might upset a couple of people. Don't really care because that's what we do on the show. No, we do. Um, there's been a landmark deal for the Matildas. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the soccer the soccer, soccer women. Um, big payday. Yeah, they're going to get paid equal money, the same as what the Socceroos do. Joking. Now, well, <laughs> good on them. Well done. Well, well, I think it's fantastic. Well done. Well done. Well but, done ladies. but it's equal revenue from what they're earning. So the Socceroos will fill out a grandstand of, you know, 70,000 people. Right, the, that'll filter and, down. And then the women will get probably 10,000. Right. But they're going to get paid the same remunerations it's just do they one thing I don't know any soccer people out there that can bring it do they actually play as a oh, I'm going to get in trouble here do they play as like a curtain raiser to the men normally like beforehand I don't or do they play so. in different yeah. venues different I think nights? they're different, different so venues. they play their own venues their own yeah, yeah. whoever they're playing but here's, here's a bit of breaking news for okay. you actually um, now that this landmark deal has been made Sam Kerr the best in Australia uh, which is uh, the Kerr that used to play for Western he, West great Coast. player great yeah. player well, she's pack, sister, she's that's she's, the, that's she's the sister. She's packing her bags and she's moving to Europe. Well, because big money, you see. But they've just got a landmark deal where they're sharing money the same as the men. Yeah, well, I know, but well, now she's gone. She's gone. See, well, Sam. Right. Sam. See ya. Bye. Yeah. 
Might say, well, we're not going to say New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. What are your thoughts? You think that's it's fair? Yeah. It, it, it just does this open the floodgates for every well, sporting well, well, why code we, now that do, all do we, women do have we to jump the in now? Then while we're saying with Ash Barty, well, he's, he's, dying. Dying. he's dying. He's dying. Uh, 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 six six point four mil. Yes, and, she, and 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 her earnings is ten. Yes. I think she's made eighteen. Yes, that was six point four million, yeah, the most in one hit. Yeah. Than any yeah. men, women, yeah. it's the biggest. It's the, the biggest. Men, the men haven't played theirs yet, though. No, so that's, but, still, but, that's but, still to come. But, 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 yeah, but, but I know what at, at the moment, yeah. that is the most. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and listen, we don't begrudge it. But she was going to give the game away. Yeah, I know. And, she was going to come uh, work for the Friday frothy. She that was. Would, that would have been. I was going to say it would be a tragedy, but it was wrong timing, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I don't get that. No. Anyway. Um, <laughs> wait until you watch the show, Jeff. Right. Anyway, I, I'm going to say, enjoy your party. Ashing Can we party. come, Barty? Yes. So anyway. when we're in Queensland, well, you're from Queensland originally. So Barty. Barty. If, I hope you watch the show because uh, we we want to interview you too later on. We do. Wherever anyway, we Al, that's out with it. You got anything? Out you done with it? No, no. No, you'll just put something. You'll put something nice in. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's out with it. Ah, out with it. Oh, I are with it. Now, guys, we, uh, we've we spoken about it for the last couple of weeks. Alex Peroni. If you don't know Alex Peroni, he is a Formula 3 race car driver from Harrah here. 20 in, year old, uh, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, it'd be 19, 20, yeah. Yeah, I think he's 20. Legend years. of a bloke. And uh, had a big crash a couple of months ago in Monza in third, Italy. Third of row in the back. Yep. Uh, gone. We thought he was. Could, could have been killed, to be quite honest with you. And uh, luckily, he's got the right support, the right people around him. The, yeah. the kids pulled through. Yeah. He's got plenty of guts. He's just waiting to get back in the car. Yeah. And we're going to do some fundraising. Everyone's fundraising down next oh, Friday night. Yeah. I'll leave it up to Jeff now to tell you what that's all about. Thanks, Glenn. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, next Friday night is at the Tasman Room at the Casino. Uh, that'll be the 15th of November, not January, as no, I said last November. week. Oh, and yeah. uh, next week. Look, it is $120. Yeah, it's a three-course meal plus canapes. 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 And, uh, and, and lucky door prizes and uh, yes. things. Guest speakers. We've got the great Glen Ridge there from... Um, Say. Fail of the century. century. Just come after Tony Barr. Very nice bloke. Now, Glenny, I don't know if we'll be doing a live feed no, next week. We're not or sure, we'll be we? doing a pre-record and then playing it maybe on a Saturday, guys. So if we're not on Friday night... Well, we're sorry. About it might that. be due to te te technical, technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, if we are, we're down the great round room, aren't we? Now? No, really sure, point. Need a trolley. Difficulties. Yeah. No, you're not walking around a trolley. But anyway, um, guys, if you've got nothing planned, get on to Al. If you put up the thing out to contact Piro. Oh yeah, Piro. Yes, uh, that's that's. Uh, there's a there's an email Alex's address dad. on the on the thing that Al's put up, and. Um, Book, your, yeah. book yourself a spot and get out there and, and support Alex, support a local. We, we, we've got a big table going and hopefully uh, that we, you know, there's other sportsmen. I don't know. There's a lot of Tasmanian sportsmen uh, that have they've done well in AFL and yeah. everything else. It'd be nice if you guys yeah. could, if you're down in yeah. Tassie, could yeah. find your way to Rest Point yes. at uh on Friday the 15th. At six, what time? I think it's about 6pm, Glenny. About 6pm. Uh, 6pm? You will not meet a better kid yeah. uh, uh, who's uh, trying his guts out yeah. to do well in this sport. Yeah. Very hard sport it is, and but he's it, trying his guts out. And if you haven't seen it, flick through our yeah. uh, our interviews, and uh, Alex Prony is live here in the yeah. in the frothy bar. There he is up there in the frothy there is. shirt. There Old Alex. There is. And uh, we'll obviously be you know trying to stitch up an interview with him as well. So. And he's got some. Uh, he's got one of the uh, interviewers coming over, isn't he? From um, uh, Peter. Someone. He's a yeah, Peter. Formu he's a Formula, 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 Formula One, one expert so. boss. So anyway, guys, so there's going to be other get young, involved. most amazing people there. So get involved. And if you don't get involved, yourself. Make, well, yeah, make sure you watch either on the Friday night or the Saturday night or the Sunday night. Yeah. And we'll have something from that show anyway. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll do something up, whether it's live or whether it's not. You'll, you'll get something. Let's get, and we'll get some interviews. Back on track. Let's we'll, get him on we'll track. Have to put yeah. the email in after the show. And the yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll in the description that. down below, we'll give you Piero's uh, email. You can do after it. The show. But after the live. After the live. But uh, get, get your name down and go to the show because uh, this kid uh, needs as much help as he can. What other racing we got there? Mate, V8 supercars during the week. Uh, oh, Simona de Silvestre. Well, done, mate. Her full-time drive at uh, Harvey Norman. I'm getting good at these names. You are. They're like horses. She's uh, pulled the pin. She's not a horse, but I mean, really? it's just the names. Yeah, the she's pulled the pin because oh, she's, she's, uh, she's picked up a, a drive for the Porsche. Uh, oh, oh, Porsche. 
Academy, the Porsche Academy in Germany, I think it was. Yeah, she, but she's been driving since 2015 and 16 um, when she was entered as a wild card as the Supergirls. Okay. All right. Now... She's a bit like Wonder Woman. She's a bloody good driver. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And there's well, been she a, must be good. Once again, there's been a lot of heckling um, because she, she's, a, she's, a, she's a female. She didn't make it and she's going and... Uh, but they're look, giving their heart. They're giving their, their all. Mate, if she, uh, look, if, she, if she had a competitive car... Yeah, but it's all about the car, isn't it? She yes. can drive. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Doubt she can drive. no, no, no. She can drive. She wouldn't be there. Yeah, exactly. No doubt. Yeah. Well, and the other thing also point. is is the Kelly the Kelly brothers have also changed from because Nissan's getting out of racing and yes. they're going to Mustangs. Uh, so Sally. your Mustang Sally, mm. you hate that song. Yeah. And um, yeah, so she's got a she's got a full time contract, a factory gig at uh, at in Germany. So Germany. She's moving back to Switzerland. Marquee, it's a marquee. Nice Germany. place to be, actually. Temper- ole, 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 ole. Temperature would probably be the same as Hobart, I reckon. Switzerland. At the moment. It would be at the moment. <laughs> uh, it's it's bitterly cold down here and uh, we're just talking to our Queensland counterparts up there and they're sweltering New South Wales is on fire yes yes. all the best to people up in Taree at the moment where our thoughts with you at the moment so uh, it's just it's it's ridiculous the weather at the moment mate. Half the, we're, we're nearly in snow again and uh, well, we they're, they're, they're in bushfires and 30 odd plus mm. degrees now just quickly, while we're still on motor racing, we'll yep. get on get on something else in a minute. But uh, this is a big one, guys. If you haven't heard that uh, Renault or Renault, 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 haven't made a decision yet whether they're going to continue on Formula One, well, which, they, which could leave Daniel Ricciardo without a drive. Well, they they were big. They were going to be big players, weren't they? They were going to. I don't think they will, but. There's just there. There's been a couple of words going around saying that you know that maybe 2020 there may not be a Renault team. No. Uh, Red Bull has turned around and said that there's no spot for Daniel Ricciardo in for him to, yeah. to come back to the team and, and race. So what would he do then? I mean, would he would he look oh, at other get... racing cars? Jeez, mate, they, you like Daytona to... or something. Well, do this... they go into that? No, no. A different driving. No, isn't completely it? different. But oh, um, yeah. you know, there's spots opening up and there's things happening all over the place. Well, who else has he got? McLaren. That's it. Well, they're, they're all they're, McLaren, they're Red Bull. All, they're all signed. They've all got deals. Yeah, they're all okay. contracted. Well, mate. Although in football, contracts mean nothing. So well, that's what I mean. Rip it up. Mm. Get him in. Rip it up. Anyway, guys, right. how did you go? Melbourne Cup Day. The guy beside me does all our tips here yeah, on the we'll Friday do. frothy. Been and massive uh, he's in had racing. a pretty good run, haven't you? A pretty good run. We did it. Uh, well, we can even have a little. Uh, you know, I sort of did sell the farm and that here uh, <laughs> the farm. week, uh, but. Um, we did have a very good derby day. Uh, we had a very, very good derby day, in fact. And uh, just sort of going back through some of the old sheet, if you can remember, if you watch the, uh, the last, you know, our last performance. But we went through most of these, and this was derby day. And we had, uh, I think we had winners Dow Sand, Downdraft, Melody Bell, Biviac comes second, Fierce Impact, Tafane. Because I'll throw in a few extras there. What's happened to Cleve's tips? He's, he's, he's won. Miss Invisible, Tally, Colding. How's that, viewers? Uh, I might even be uh, going full-time, too, on the racing. Calendar could be out. Friday Frothy might Cleaver, be having a Christmas party Cleaver, after all. Cleaver could be back in. Uh, <laughs> on uh, Melbourne Cup Day, though, mate, we... Um, Vow to declare. Vow to declare. Fantastic... Uh, Fantastic thing hey. for Australia. The first uh, horse in a decade from from Australia to win yeah. the Great Race. You know, the, you obviously know the story, but the, mm. they they put the horse up for auction to try and get it in. It was passing at forty five thousand dollars because it That's wasn't right. enough. That's right. And it, and it finally went through it the second time at sixty thousand. So they've it, picked they've picked up this horse for sixty grand. Yeah, and and, I, and it only it was lucky to get in the cup. You know that it was it was it was a. Uh, Two pulled out basically. Yep. They, they, I think they were overseas horses. Yep. And he got in. Well, so for, and and look, hello. Four point four million, Lenny. Yep. For their sixty grand. Yeah. I oh, know. And how how good? You know, I mean. Better than the pokies. Well, in the in the eye. But uh, Danny yeah. O'Brien, because he um, got in a little bit of strife here a while back. It wasn't uh, concrete. That he did anything wrong, so oh, well done to him. Uh, yeah, but he's uh, the he's no, the uh, no. the uh, trainer and you know, of the uh, horse, and all the connections with uh, Vown declared did well. A little nibble on um, looks like Elvis ran a good race, uh, got done by a nostril in the uh, 
on the line in the eighth. An ostrich. Uh, so ostrich. at any rate, but yeah, it's all going on, mate. mate I've got a couple of things here that yep. uh, viewers might be interested. Have a look, money wise. Uh, uh, money wise, yeah. So uh, one punter dished out five hundred dollars on Val Declare. Um, he picked up the winner. Oh, that was back. What was this? Oh, yeah, sorry. That, yeah, was, that back, was back, back on it? October 26. Yes. At 100 and, it was paying 101 Yeah, which... $101. Yeah, back then it would have been. So he picked up 50500 mm, Nice. Um, another guy uh, vowed nice. to declare at $14.50 <laughs> for the cup. He uh, put a $20,000 bet on it. Oh, that's money. 17000 But he took home $290,000 and $246,000. There's your so house. two different bets. Yep, a couple um, of this Another, one. Uh, it's this one that gets made. This one. One punter wore beyond, uh, what was it? Payment of 793000 minutes after he thought he was walking away with nothing. Yep. And uh, the punter had $10 on a straight, a straight first, first four, four, which is a right. quaddy. Yes. And 793000 he, he, he was running, well, I know the story. I don't even have to read this. Hmm. He was running around with his girlfriend there, or with the girl that he was trying to impress and take out and put the quaddy on and uh, wasn't going so well with the girl. But he was going well with the horses. And any rate, I think he got to the last race is what happens. Mm. She was ready to go. And uh, any rate, he left. And uh, he found out later. Seven ninety three. He's sitting there flicking through his phone. It's just yep. like me and you come back to the yep. profit bar. Yep. And he's sitting back. He's going, huh? He's in, a, he's in a restaurant. And he's yelling out. And people looking at him saying, is that clean, clean? No, they're, they're looking at it. And... <laughs> Seven hundred ninety-three thousands on his phone. Well done, Charlie. Well, well done. Well and, done. Uh, that's what happens, mate. Sometimes uh, that's, there's your tats lotto win, isn't it? How about this guy, mate? This this fella is he's, uh, he's a punter, though. You'd have to be he, a punter. He, to he, do he can't say that in the show. A punter. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, he's not Riggy Ponting. He's this a punter, really. punter. Yeah. Punter. This, this guy put on twenty dollars, right? Yes. Nice. And nice. Uh, nice. Mm. He correctly picked Richmond to win the AFL. Yeah. He correctly picked Sydney Roosters, Roosters. to win the NRL. Right. And uh, and then yeah, waiting a month for Van Declare to close out the result at four thousand five hundred twenty-two dollars fifty odds. So yeah, he's picked up ninety grand for his twenty bucks. Nice. Why can't we do that? Because we're stupid. Mm. I'm going to have to start looking at some <laughs> unrealistic. Like some unrealistic. But... So yeah, guys, hope you had a hope you had a good day. Hope you had a win. Hope you had a holiday like like everyone else did and. Country anyway, but well, yeah. everyone enjoy themselves in the uh, in the no, in the no, cage bar. I think stupid. they call it over there. In the, stupid on, on Melbourne Cup Day, you had the uh, the bolt, and no animals were harmed. I believe. No, no animals, but well, we could have put that on out with it. I could have put it on out with it, but uh, no, don't we're not going to bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. Any rate, the good the good news is what I am going to say is all horses at right. the end of the day were fit. Yes, there was no tragedies. And uh, the only the only ones that were hurt was probably a few that had a couple or two many champagnes and froffies. They oh, may have broken a, may have broken a few hills, mate, and uh, a few noses and that falling into bushes. Few hooves, few hooves gone, hooves on the gone way out and, the and a few hooves on the way out, and uh, that's about it. Well, Glenny, another person that we've had mm. uh, good wrap up, mate. Another person that we've had on the show, uh, absolute legend, yes. um, Damon the Heat Header. Oh. Over in Amsterdam, played last week, uh, seated number five, five for the tournament. To do that. And unfortunately, if I don't, you didn't see it, guys, but uh, nerves got the better on him. Oh, that happened. Certainly didn't disappoint. He he no. he, he started off uh, he started off with a, with a pretty bad start. Lost his first game, and uh, was all sort of. He came back from there, and he had plenty of chances to get back into the game and, yeah. and to actually, you know, we all to have win bad it. Games, don't we? But he's made no fool of himself. He's no. put himself out there that he is, he is there. He's ready to go get onto this tour. And there's uh, always another game, Jim. mate. Another it, tournament. He will be game. dangerous. So, yep. so Damon, mate, just uh, I don't know if you're watching or not, mate. But I if, know if you exactly are. how you feel, mate. I did the same in bowls the other night, and I, <laughs> and I, all we can do, mate, is bounce back, and that's all we can do. Unlike you for bowls, he'll be better for his run. Yes. So uh, I'm, I'm trying well done, hard. Well done. And Damon, I might be fantastic. trying hard if he's a horse next time. Mate, a bit of rugby union rugby news. Rugby union. The, uh, the World Cup. happening in rugby union. Run and done. But yes, they won. Uh, England, uh, sorry, you know. South, South, South Africa. Africa. <laughs> South Africa won, didn't they? Is it, is it true? You watch the game. Is it true that England did not score a try? It was just all... Uh, it was... It was penalties? Yeah, it was penalties. Yeah, yeah, it was. So 32 to 12. It was, it was really... One, look, I'll tell you what. When you look at the size of some of the... Um, Forward pack and all that in the South Africans. They've got some huge guys, but I'll tell you what, there's some really weeny little fellas that play in South Africa. <laughs> the little blondie guy. Yeah, a little blonde fella, and there was another little uh, 
little short fella there that had this sidestep, but he was just going, he was like a little dodging <laughs> car. Going he had a weedy, through. weedy sidestep. <laughs> oh, mate, he was uh, unbelievable. They are the real deal, South Africa. And, you know, look, we, we should thank, because uh, uh, we're going to be talking to our brothers when we go over shortly, but well done to the All Blacks too, because uh, yeah. they have dominated mm. for, for a long time mm. with rugby, and uh, unfortunately they, uh, they slipped up this time, which happens in sport, and... Uh, well done to our South African partners because life's pretty tough over there and, uh, you know, with the unrest and all that, and they just seem like now that if they can turn their country around mm. with the uh, with the black and the white people over there, uh, with the apartheid, yep. it's, ever, it's starting to... The, the bridges are starting to mend. You ever thought of becoming a politician, right? No, not really. No. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, I just... No, I, I hope that it does because I tell you what, they're doing everything right in sport. No, so well done. sport can tie it together... Well done. Because remember that the uh, the uh, skipper do of the South Africans, uh, it, it's a fantastic story. I can't think of the guy's name. It's a little bit hard to... Yeah, do you want me to, to him? But, but he came from a very poor upbringing and to lead South Africa as a, as, as a, as a black... Uh, you know, the first black leader mm. of, uh, of of the South African team okay. is a fantastic effort. Well done. So well, well done, done to well you done. guys. If you don't have sport in your country, well, you just don't have sport. No, well, it, 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 sport can do that, can't it? It can bring people together. It does. It brings us it together. It does. Well, it, it does. It brings us together. We don't talk to each other during the week. No, we don't. hate each other. But Friday exactly. nights, we get on here well, and we, we do. just talk sports. It brings us we? together. We, we love. We come together when North Melbourne play Hawthorne, don't we? <laughs> don't we ever. We're going to do a live feed of that this year, too, or next year. We will. We're going to we're gonna commentate. Bad. We're going to commentate a game. That's pretty bad. It's going to well, be we good. Well, we are going to. It's going to be good. Should be good. Should be interesting. Okay. There'll be blood. Anyway, guys, okay. hang around. We're about to go into another segment that we do here on the show. It's called Odd Sports, and it's done by our producer, who seems oh, to be yes. wearing blinds tonight. I'm just getting into this. Tonight. All right. So anyway, so here's the producer and Odd Sports. All right, guys. All right, guys. What do you need when you've been at the frothy bar for a night? A bog. Exactly. You need a bog. <laughs> And for lots of different reasons. And Odd Sport Tonight... Straight to the point. <laughs> the Odd Sport Tonight is bog snorkeling. You did a, bog di- you did a bog dip a medico. <laughs> yes, well, I did, I actually. Yeah. Now, it's a spawning event in which competitors um, complete in the shortest time possible mm. two consecutive lengths of a water-filled trench cut through a peat log. Full of bog. Competitors must wear snorkels and flippers. Has it got, poo- has it got poo in it? Oh, I have to, yeah. Why not? Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs> it's got poo in it. It's got obstacles <laughs> in the water. Floaties. Floaties. Chiquito, Chiquito bars. Chiquito bars. Oh, oh, no. What was that movie? That was a good one. Now, I can't think they have to com- yeah. um, complete this course without using any conventional swimming strokes. What would your conventional swimming swimming strokes be? Breaststroke. Yeah. Breaststroke. Yes. There's no breaststroke. No. Paddle. no. Freestyle. Paddle. No over. What about no. butter? butter fl- what, what do they swim? How do they swim with them? What do they do? Dog paddle's my favourite. Anyway. Backstroke. They have to rely on flipper power alone. Flipper Whoa. power. They've got to be like... <laughs> they've got to be like yeah. the flipper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. it. Yeah. A wetsuit is not compulsory. No. But it can also be worn. Yeah, oh, but you yeah. trap the... Bog. In, yeah, inside yeah. you. No, you go. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd like bog in my swimsuit. You'd be walking through a car wash afterwards, wouldn't you? <laughs> At the car wash. You'd have to go to the bog wash. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. All right, so here's a bit of a clip. This has been taken from another user site. We're going to play the whole thing. We'll put the link in the description below after the show. Oh, thanks, users. Yeah, thanks. Here we go. <laughs> Bro, 
right, yo. There you go. What sports? Oh, oh sorry, man. I was just fixing me darts. So. Yeah, not the dart. The dart. Go, go. Um, now, I'm we back. spoke hey, last week. We, you know, we, we talked about, does anyone know about the Bolt? Because uh, they'll they play in the Australian the Championship. Bolt so, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I haven't heard anything, guys. No, we anyone? haven't heard. The Bolt. No. But the, the name of the guy that we spoke to that night was Laurie. Trucky. Hmm. Trucky? Oh, no, good nickname, Laurie. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. Number 10 down yeah, the street. Yeah, Laurie. Right. Um, anyway, anyone out there knows what's happened? Yeah, well, let us know. How the you, the how Australian you, how, how Masters. You the We've... Australian Masters. Eight ball. Mm. Champion. Mm. 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 What, what's he for Tasmania, isn't he, of Australia? Tasmania. What? Oh. Well, yeah, well, well, who won it? Well, I think they went to Albury. But anyway, um, Wodonga. Guys, mm. a bit of temp in bowling news, Glenny. Of course, once uh, again, yes. we've had the best champion bowler in the world we have. on the Friday Frothy, Jason Abel Amonti Bell from Monty. Orange, now mm. over in America, bowling in the Professional Bowlers Association. Um, there's been a massive... It's not Tully Nun Banana, is it? Oh, that's Belafonte. This is Belafonte. Yeah, so Tully Nun Banana. That's, that's very good. Here I come. Sorry. No, no, it's good. On, so so mm. next year, uh, the 31st of July to the 2nd of August, there's um, people have taken over the bowling centre here in... Uh, oh, in oh, Moona. Uh, Moona. Moona. In, in, in Hobart. Hobart. bowling. And uh, Strike 3, mm. I think they're called. And... Uh, They've organised a tournament, which is going to be the biggest thing that Australia's ever seen in Tempin Bowling, guys. And um, they're here in home. That's fantastic. Yeah, so Jason Belmont, he's going to come here and bowl, and he's going to oh, bowl against the best coup, bowlers in the world. In the world. In the world. Now so we're hoping to get there, aren't we? If if well, we'll try and get in there. Yeah, um, guys, if if you know Sleazy. a bit about bowling and you watch it. Al, we've got some pictures there of some of the players, and I'm going to read these out if they might mean anything to you. But Jesper Svensson from Sweden, EJ Tackett from Indiana in the USA, Norm Duke from Florida, uh, Daria Padjak, she's um, one of the best women bowls oh. in the world, Kyle Troop um, from North Carolina, Danielle McEwen from New York, and our own Ashley Riley from Tasmania. I think oh. he bowls up in uh, okay. Devonport. Devonport, is it? And then they're going to have the winner from... Well, Pig, we can't get him online at some stage. Well, well, probably could if you wanted to. Ashley Riley. Yeah, yeah. probably could. Local homegrown. He's going to well, be bowling well against the best in the world. Well, so it would be pretty... I'll tell you what, it's a massive sport in uh, all around the world. Huge. A lot of people probably don't realise it is, but uh, since we've been doing this show, it's opened up our eyes. Yeah. And because Jeff, of course, uh, was yeah, tied up with 10 million years. Bowling for a good part of his uh, mm. life and that, so he knows all about that. Yeah, mm. but again, yeah, no, and, and once again, guys, it's just good good to cover different sports. Absolutely, um, we watch a lot of TV shows and different um, different things. Like it's all AFL or it's all rugby league yeah. or it's all you know. But we, we're trying. We're snooker. We're eight ball. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're you know. I mean, there's other sports. There odd sports that our mm. runs. I mean, mm. uh, you know. So anyway. We'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on that, guys, of any, any outcome, yeah. and we're going to try and get there and interview well, all these professional we get bowlers. These, well, yeah, well, it, we would, and uh, if we can get there, and uh, hopefully we can, we can get there. I mean, Jeff will, will sneak in somehow. We might even play Glenn. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> hand, I'll hand the bowl to you as it comes I don't up think the, so. Uh, I'll hand to you so you can bowl. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't think I'll Mate, let's bowling. talk about we'll a, a, bowl a, a bit of cricket. Justin uh, Langer. I'll Justin Langer. Cricket. Yeah, Langer. He reckons man. that Steve Smith can get better. I do too. I think he's just a star. Absolute star, that guy. He's just single-handedly with the 20, 20 games, isn't 80. he? 80. 80. He's just smacking them all over the place. And 80. He, he's carrying Australia on his back at the moment. I reckon he's got every shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, they keep pressuring him. I don't know why they keep doing this, though, Jeff. Mm. They keep pressuring him about the Australian captaincy. That's now, what Timmy Payne yeah. is, regardless of what's happening, mm. guys, he's done a fantastic job. Timmy? As a captain. Mm. Let him keep being the captain. Yeah. Let Steve Smith Do what keep he's blasting doing. everything and be the. Why do we have to keep changing something that works? Exactly right, Glenn. Until it doesn't work. When it doesn't work, change it. So like why the... it's working, keep it the way it is. It's like the froth. I hope you're listening, Cricket Australia. Something. But Justin Lang is the right man. He's brilliant. I, yeah, I, I like think, Justin. Huh? You like Justin? I do. I think he's a star. I, I, I reckon he's the right man, and uh, we've needed someone like him for quite a while. He's a no-nonsense person has been there, done that, mm. and he was a star when he was playing, and he's just continues. Mm. 
Well, Steve, so, uh, Steve Smith, I think he's on top of the batting lineup. He's he's number one in Test and he's number one in fifty overs, but he's he's down like twenty one or something in T twenty. But he hasn't played for for years. In, well, he's in he's the he's the he's the stayer. He's the backbone. Yeah. But the other night he wasn't. He was just hitting them all over the place. Yeah. Uh, why we can can I go can, can, can I yeah, on cricket? There's yeah. just something I probably didn't tell you about. This yeah. is this is just a little funny little thing that we put in, but. This is going back to the Ashes, uh, viewers. Uh, this is when Nathan Lyon missed that easy stumping, Jeff, that, which cost us the, didn't it? Cost us the Ashes. Well, yeah. it did. The win, oh, win. The win, the win, win, win. The win, win. Yeah. With the draw, and draw. And that was at win, Leeds win. in the third test mm. when Ben Stokes was unbeaten. He was, he was amazing. He was, and, and well done to Ben Stokes. Uh, Ex New Zealand are really not a not an English cheat. Man, but, you cheat. But unbeaten century, smack, smacking us all over the park. He wasn't. Poor old Nathan Lyon. He he had a chance to run him out. Mm. He dropped the ball. And and as happens in sport, this is what makes sportsmen. Unfortunately, it didn't work this time. He's been a great player. Well done. He was inconsolable. They win the game. Mm. England win the game. Mm. All's not beaten. He's he's trudging off. Tim Payne's basically held him up. He was. You know, the, he, he was escorting him off. He was drained and, 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 and everything else. But the funny thing is, Steve Smith, the great Steve Smith, he was like a mentor around the um, the team. Mm. And he was on tour with the boys. Mm. And as he got in there, you know, what you do when you when you come off, you trudge off the ground and that, you're sitting in the, the locker room and you're thinking... The bleachers. I mean, you know, where's the hole? How, how big's the hole? I've just blown it. Probably play my career. Yeah, not good. And anyway, Steve Smith uh, came up with a good one liner, and I thought I'd mention it because you know, we've we've been a little bit serious tonight on yeah, yeah, unfortunate well, people, couple of people passing and yeah, that. So yeah. this is a good one liner. This is this is when you think everything's against you. you just think there's always something uh, good can happen. Anyway, Steve Smith turned around. His one liner was uh, to Nathan Lyon, Steve Smith. Uh, sorry, yes, yeah, Steve Smith. Uh, he said, uh, the positive thing made about what happened is that, uh, you know, you're going to make lots of money. And Nathan Lyon said, what do you mean? And he said, well, for the rest of your life, you'll be going out when you finish your cricket. You'll be going doing, uh, you know, doing the circuit. And you'll be telling, you know, you'll be putting a little bit of mayo on the stories. That they actually, so. Yeah, you, you will. I mean, there'll be a bit of dressing and that, slopping around and that. How, why it happened, you know, uh, yeah, when, the, when the stumps were going to come out of the ground. But yes, uh, look, as he said, it, it's it's part of history now. Yes. That, that's in folklore. So out of something bad, it's like someone, it's like Steve Smith. He was felled on, in that game. Yeah. He came back. This is all part of the Steve Smith saga, isn't it? The, the storyline of how good he is. Yeah. Because he came back, he bounced back. The odds are against him. It's like far lap. Mm. It's like... Good Australian. North Warner, North Melbourne. Good Australian horse. Better. So this is what happened. Well, he's still, he's still averaging averaging better than Don Bradman at the moment? I, I uh, believe. Look, I, had a, I was watching a show. He, he, look, Bradman will never be... No. I mean, what he did, you can't quite do that. But Steve Smith is as close as anyone's going to get yeah. to yeah. what he did. So. And with, with such an unorthodox or Yeah, he's stance. orthodox, isn't he? I, it just... Yeah, it's... What, sorry? Unorthodox. Unorthodox. Oh, you're going to dox. You're going to dox. What is it? Unorthodox. That's yeah, what, that's what, what we, we just said. said no, I thought it was. No, Did you, you say that? No, we were mucking around saying donks. Donkeys. Talking about donks. Look at that donk. Connie the cow. $25,000 these guys raised for charity. for How good is that? For variety. It went all down again. I mean, I know we mentioned it here. First year. 25 grand. How good is that? You know, we we did just over ten, and these guys are twenty five. We thought if, we did if well. If you did five hundred dollars, oh, yeah. Hey, if you did five hundred dollars, that's good enough. It doesn't matter because you did. You yeah. got in there and did it. Had a go. Talking about Greatest charity, and why have a go? None that. We spoke yeah. last week about uh, the two minute noodles, Barry Hall. And Paul Gall and the fight coming up. I think that's next week. Hello, hello Vera. Oh, jeez, no, headbutt. Well, that's what they do, isn't it? I think it's coming up next week. That's and, where he's uh, going to come to. I know. Barry, but he's going to come into his home. That's how small he is. But uh, well, Gallon reckons it's it's set up now. It's it's set up for him to lose because it's in an AFL uh, yeah. coded area, and he had to change the fight. Barry was about six foot four, and Paul Gallon. I'm only guessing. He might be taller than I think. Yeah. But I thought he'd be around about five ten, but he's about that wide. Yeah. But I don't know. But he can box, he, so it's going to be yeah. interesting. But are they both? This is what we asked about earlier. I don't know. Barry Hall's definitely heavyweight. Mm. 
And I don't know what he comes under Paul Gallon. It certainly wouldn't be heavyweight. No, no. Too small. Oh, he's a big boy, though. I don't know. Oh, he's big. He's he's, he's bulky, muscly, and all big legs. But he, and all he's like come out in, in public and he said that he, mm. he feels that this fight is a setup and it's been set up for Barry Hall to win. Yeah. So mm. toughen so, up, toughen up, Gaz. Yeah. And, you know, you want us guys to go over and do what we do. You just give us a ring and we'll come over. Uh, all right. So. Uh, what, do, what do we do? We'll, we'll go over and we'll, we'll, we'll be at the uh, boxing. Mate, last yeah. week we spoke about Cooper Cronk saying that he had a, a future in the football team that he we was did. playing in. Yeah, right? no, he did. Uh, the right. Roosters. Right. As a, what What was he going to be, a mentor or yeah. whatever? Well, coach. Speaking of mentors. Coach. Luke Hodges, Stage coach. Luke Hodges staying on with the Brisbane Lions as a mentor. Yes. Right, yeah. just throw that in there. But yeah, Cooper Cronk. He's going up the road. He's, he's going to the other code. He's going to our code. Complete rewind. Australian rules. He's gone to uh, GWS. Mm. <laughs> as, as a... What is he, like a mentor? Oh, have I got it written down here? Well, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's, he's a little bit like... Okay, look, a leadership consultant. <laughs> leadership consultant. So he's a little bit like the uh, the great uh, Billy Slater with St yeah, Kilda. St Kilda. Well, so how's, he's, how's that working out for him? Well, we wait. well... I don't know. I mean, we'll know this year. Hmm. We don't hear. See, this one, I mean, you don't hear all those things. No. You, know? you never get no feedback on all failing. on all these football shows now, uh, Fox and all that, because you're opposition wise. So you can um, <laughs> Fox is our opposition. You know, so wow, you can. I mean, this is our big we are. We're doing, we're doing well. Yeah, massive. Look out, Fox. We're coming Fox. for you. We're coming. Hey. <laughs> Well, they keep sacking all our be- the best. Well, like, narrowly has been trying to. He, she's been trying to get a job with us. <laughs> Narrowly Meadows, isn't she? Narrowly, if she you, likes isn't she? Fly. Narrowly, yeah. yeah if, if you're out there, do you there, reckon she can? Because we, we don't, we don't bring women. A lot of women on. Well, we've got two lovely but we, women. Here. We do. We need someone on the ground in Melbourne to do some interviewing well, for us. Do. So narrowly, if you're out there and you're interested, yeah. we'll, we'll take. They'll it They'll all on. be coming soon. Yeah, we've even made hundreds yeah. of subscribers. We've got the plaque to prove. We it. do right yeah. over here. You probably can't see it, but but uh, <laughs> it's all true. Sure. It's not about how many people watch no. the show. It's about the quality that goes into the show. And mate, we've got some quality. A lot of research goes into the show. They have. They've all been fallen by the wayside. We will keep plugging away. You won't stop. Mangrook's gone. You won't stop. Mangrook's gone. I know. I know. There'll be nothing left except for the Friday frothy, no. and you'll be forced to watch yeah. us and share it with your friends you and let people know what we're doing because whether you think we're doing a good job or not, yeah, we don't really care. We don't care. <laughs> you know I mean, you're going to have Peng. You're going to have Peng. What's the other guy's name? Malloy. Malloy and, and the other Payne, Cleaver, and the other fella. Well, oh, yeah, Meadows. No, I can't think of his name. Oh, what do you like? No one ever remembers go, that guy's go name. Go for Carlton anyway. Corey will tell you who he is. Yeah. He goes for Carlton. Yeah. But anyway, so do you know much about Latrell Mitchells? What's going on? I don't no, I didn't hear the end result of it that he was there was there was a talk that he was out. But yeah. I don't know today. I might have seen something on my phone that yeah. suggests that he may have stayed. Well, Am I right or wrong? I don't they know. reckon it could be a setup between him and uh, what's the guy's name? Valentine Holmes. Oh, who went over to do the rugby? Who, oh, sorry, no, Gridiron, Gridiron. and he didn't he, succeed. He hasn't succeeded. No, and it looks like he's coming home to find a spot. Yes, and it sounds like he might be a bit of clickbait. Oh, in the contract for the yeah. Other fella. So I don't know. We'll, we'll keep that so we'll, with that. So as, for all as you as rugby up, league, mm. oh, while we're talking rugby league, let's too, talk rugby league. Um, hey, I, the the, uh, the, uh, the kangaroos copped oh. a little bit of a hiding. Oh, Tonga. They copped a little bit of a hiding. Tonga, um, I think we just thought we had to turn up, and uh, we got a little bit of a touch up. Is by it the Tongans? Possible the Australian team had a, a bit, bit too much carver before the they, uh, the Tongan they game. They may have done. I think. I think it mm. might. I think their heads might have been a little bit too big. Actually, that's what happened because they did. Their head wasn't in the game, and uh, they copped a little bit from uh, I think Joey Johns, Andrew Johns, mm. and a couple of the uh, you know the the guys that are legends of the game, and they reckon that uh, it was a disgrace. Disgrace. So there's a few guys there that they had a chip at, and uh, I won't tell you any names, Cherry Evans, but uh, Cherry Evans, but uh, they had a go at a few blokes, Cherry Evans, but there was a couple other guys too, not just Cherry Evans, but there was a few others, and there was a, they just had a go at them. And uh, next time, you guys play a little bit strong, because yeah, you've got to remember in play the in, in the Tongan Quiet side, up. all those guys do play mm. in rugby league in Australia. Of course they do. So we had Jennings in that. Yes. Jennings playing for building, Tonga, and, building houses, and uh, yeah, he's a Jennings. They're a great team. Jennings They've been around since. Uh, That's not advertise them. No, I know. Well, okay. Well, 
Gardner Holmes then or whoever. Yep. Just while we're on that, no. talking about... Oh, Jack Abosky Holmes, sorry. Jack, Jack, Jack Abosky. Yeah, Jack Abosky, so we'll put that first. Talking about uh, Carl Jack Valentine Abosky. Holmes, yeah. there's also been... This is going to this is going to segue me into, a, into another thing here. Right. But there's been talk about the Toronto Wolfpack, oh. which is a Canadian oh. rugby league yeah. super team. Because they sound nasty, don't they? Well, Wolfpack. have a listen to this. They might be chasing Ooh. Valentine Holmes Wolfpack. to go Ooh. there. Right. Now, the reason I bring up the... The Toronto Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Yeah, sorry. Our Toronto Wolfpack. Mm. Mm. You got Is that a, what I meant to do? Yeah, you got a picture there. Hello. Yeah. Um, Sonny Bill Williams. Oh, Sonny Bill. Jeez, right. he'd be on his. He'd be getting on a bit. Oh, Sonny. Oh, he's another boxer. Sonny Bill. Well, yeah. Too. Well, Sonny Bill's been playing rugby union, and he's just mm. about to make the change. He's signed oh, with the Toronto man. Wolfpack. The Wolfpack. Woo. Right. For a two-year deal. You're sitting down, everyone? Uh, that's my phone. $10 million. Is it Jeez. code war? 10 mil. No. $10 million for a dozen yeah. else. Just their, their thing out. Um, you didn't give it to me. Yeah, it's on there. So, oh, okay. yeah. it's, it's just a, we should try it's that just a, a logo of their of club. Sport. Could egg and spoon race. So, two years, yeah. $10 million. And uh, I've got a little bit here. The Toronto Wolfpack are a professional rugby league club based in Toronto, in Canada, yeah. which competes in the England based top tier Super League. So, Sunny oh, so they, they are, they're good. Oh, yeah. They're in England top tier. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you? So we learn on this show every day. Oh, it's what we do. It's I hope what you do. people are learning out there too about sport. Well, I hope so. We're, we're, that's what we are. Make some it. comments too. Is anyone commenting? Because we can't see where everyone's commenting. I don't know. What about the great? Uh, sorry, what about the great t- tennis uh, girl well, again, mate? Here we go. Party. Here we go. You're talking about um, funny things that people said. Yeah. I haven't written this down, but I just know yeah. this because they played in what was it? Shits. Shits. Was oh, it was. It was over in Japan, though, wasn't it? Was it in Japan? Yeah. Shih Tzu's, yeah. Shih Tzu's amazing. I can't remember what it was yeah. called, but she got up and she said it was great to play Shenzhen in front of the crowd. Hen. Yeah, Shenzhen. 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 And she Hen. said it was great to play in Japanese. front of... Shitty. Shitty. What? Shitty. What she, she said. She was in, shitty? Uh, no, she wasn't shitty. She oh, said, she was she, she she said, she she said, shitty. She said... She shitty. She's won 6.4 mil. <laughs> no, she was happy. Oh. But, but she, she was... Happy was she made the mistake by saying it was great to play here in Shitty. We bugger up, don't we? We do bugger up. I mean, I've buggered up a couple of times, don't yeah. So anyway, she's won six point four million dollars, Glenn. Absolute star. <sighs> yeah, no, she has. She's finishing the year as number one, but in the world, yes. Keep going. Oh, um, oh, I don't know. She won. Oh, okay. Well, the only thing I was going to say when she won this, yes, this is the sort of girl she is. Yes, she didn't say, oh, "I've just won six point four. <laughs> the first thing she said is, "Well done to yeah. whoever she played." Was uh, a can't, we haven't got that there, but she was a. I do uh, remember, but I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, well, she's beaten Ash Barty I was, well, I, uh, uh, the last three to four times. Yes. And uh, I can't think of the, the latest. Win, win lock. Spit, 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 spit lock. Spit, 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 uh, something flip, right. flip lock. It's not a flick switch or something. I yes. don't know. But anyway, flick the switch. You learn a but, uh, lock. Any rate, she, lock, she lock. was a good girl, but uh, Ash, was Ash, Ash beat her. Mm. And uh, it was the first time. And uh, But uh, that was the first thing she said. Well done to her mm. and well done to her team. She's a very, uh, the, the sort of tennis player, mate, we want. She is. She? And Alex Dimonhall, same as well. And he's the, d- the demon. Woo! He's killing it. He's uh, he's now ranked 21, well, he, and he is he is, he is killing he, He's and, another final And coming. Federer give him a big rap. He, he went down to Federer in a final two, over there, two, and he's smashing him. Two bloody Australians who you like to watch yeah. and listen and talk to and, and not like those other mugs that we've got running around. No, now, no. Just on the six point four million dollars, mate. I've yep. got this put in this perspective. Seven time Grand Slam champion and two time winner of the Tour final, uh, Yvonne Gulagong Corley. Oh, Corley, yes, another earned, great Aboriginal uh, champion she, as as she is. She earned two point zero two five million in prize money during her entire career. Yeah, and look at that. So She's up six, around six point four for one tournament. Well, so. geez, yeah. She's up around eighteen million, as I commented before. I think. <laughs> I think I got that wrong. But it, but it was only probably a couple of months ago that we mm. said how low her her money yeah. was. She hadn't won anything. Oh, and, and she all the way too. She's number one again. Again, she's number one. Um, Cheers, Ash Barty. So in one year, so she's not only done that. That's the first time that's been done. Mm. So not only has she won that, she's mm. back at number one. Mm. She's in rare uh, was stratosphere. Mm. There's that stratosphere. stratosphere. Bit of golf. I don't think he's running tomorrow, but it's bit of golf. Stratosphere. Golf, Quinny. Yeah, uh, uh, golf. President's Cup. Big announcement this afternoon. What was it? Oh. Uh, what in golf? Yes. Oh, sorry. Where are we looking down? Present cup. Uh, Tiger Woods. 
What's happening with Tiger? Uh, well, Aussie fans, they get a glimpse of uh, Tiger. He's uh, 25 years, first time he's made a decision to the involvement in the President's Cup in Melbourne. Next month, he's decided he's going he's coming to be, over. He's going to play. Oh, he's captain. Oh, okay. He's captain so when's coach. That? He's going to play. What, when, what date's that? When's 15, that? Oh, somewhere in the 15th of December. And we, we won't be. If we weren't going away, we, we, would, we go would go. Over. We would go. Well, we would. So yeah. So he's going to Royce. He, he's going to grace the uh, Royal Melbourne Fairways next month. So he's <laughs> selecting him as playing captain for the United States. Yes. For the President's, President's Cup. Cup. There Clash was, with Ernie Earls and the international team. There was one spot left to the fill the team, team, and he said, and they said, who? So Tiger, who's your last player in the President's Cup for the United States? And Tiger went, it's. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. But when he said it with an American accent. Yeah, of course he does. But Glenny, let's... But apparently he's loosened up a bit. I, I, well, he just won the Shenzhen Zen Cup, whatever yeah, it was, the yeah. Zulu Lu. Exactly. So, 80, remember, 82nd title. And well done to our Japanese partners out there too. And uh, I hope all the fishing's going well out there as well. Not the scar. It's got nothing to do with anything. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> hope, you, hope you're doing well with your fishing. Here's Ernie. Yeah. Here's Ernie Els' team, Glenno. Mark Leishman. This is this, this is the order oh, that they qualify. This is the order that they qualify. The order, right? Yeah. Mark Leishman, the one. Hideki Matsuyama. That's not bad. Yeah. Two. Louis Uzi Uzi Thun. Yeah. Who's number four. Adam, Adam Scott. Scott. We'll get number five. Abraham, Abraham Answer. Answer. <laughs> number six. Lee Hatung. Number seven. Pan Chang Song. Number eight, your mate, Cameron my mate, Smith. everyone's mate, Cameron Smith. And the guy who just missed out, Jason Day at number oh, nine. Oh, missed out. Did not make it, mate. He's, he's, no, he's, he's missed out, out by 3.3 3 points. Oh, well, he can work. He's a star. He can work on uh, the American on team, buddy. Who American got? team. We've got Brooks Copa. Legend. Kopska. Sorry, I had a beer. Hang on. How can you have one of those, please? One of them. Or Woodstock. Wood. Brooks Kopsky. How's that? <laughs> Justin Thomas. Good wood, good wood. Dustin Johnson. Thank you. What a solid. Legends. Uh, Patrick, don't know this guy no, too, too much. No. Can't, can't lay? No. Uh, Xander uh, Shawful. Not sure if I pronounced Shawful right. Doesn't matter. Webb Simpson. <laughs> Matt Kucher. The Kucher. The Kuch. And Bryson D. Chambeau. The Kuch. So no. they are the, uh, they're the two teams playing. Mm. Uh, captain is Ernie Earls. Yep. Of uh, you know the international internationals. And, so uh, this it will be sensational. So no doubt that'll be on. Uh, we're gathering it's going to be just like on Fox. And yeah, that, what a shame! It? What a shame we're going to be away because we would have gone to that. We would have. And 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 listen, they are the the best in the world of all time. So uh, you know, if if you're lucky enough to go there, do that. And we'll we'll, we'll when we come back, we'll be. No doubt we'll be all over it. Well, all over it. And so, I've got a guy it. who's going to take mm. us out. He doesn't know this yet, but he's going to take us out and he's going to give us some golfing lessons. We, 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 he plays, not that we need it because we're pretty good. He plays off scratch. and uh, yeah, we, we, yeah. Might, we mightn't get off the tee. For, we, he might have to teach us for a couple of days. Could be a little bit funny to watch. We have to get off the first. Mm. Yeah. Ali, send us into Cleve's tips, please. Yeah, yeah, we're, on we the, we're on the drive home. <laughs> We're back. Uh, we're back. Look, we've had since, as we said, we won't talk too much about it. We've had Derby days. We've been in the spring carnivals. We we're talking about we've the had, McKinnon this week. We've had, Dar yeah, we've got the McKinnon. We've, we've been Derby days and all that. Sub Zero came out and had a look. Yeah, oh, old Sub Zero right. loved his carrots, as I said to uh, Al and Leah before. Uh, had his teeth done there on oh, track, how cute. so he could eat his carrots. Oh, how cute! And I've been eating my carrots yeah, because um, we're we're <laughs> looking for a big. Uh, Glenn's been eating his carrots. We've been looking for a. We're going to be looking for a big day tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to go tomorrow, but. Just yeah, you're gonna to have to watch. Bet it, bet irresponsibly. Just. Exactly. So here we go. Let's let's not muck around. Friday, Friday, Froffy, uh, Flemington, races tomorrow. Horse one, number one, Rainier, got the Bowman on it. Three sixty. Naturally fixed. Race three, horse nine. I know I've been a little bit. You know, my daughter's name's Sophie, so Sophie's choice. Ten dollars and two seventy. Not a bad horse, actually. Race four, eight. Uh, race eight, Cariff. Mm. Uh, that's at five dollars fixed. 
in the Dali Sprint Classic, that's the up the straight, Jeff, you know, at Flemington. Thousand the great Santa oh, yeah. Anna Lane. Uh, oh. It's make or break, mate. Mate, never, never ever seen a better horse than this. What is is it? Santa Anna Lane. Santa Anna Lane. But uh, over this yeah. distance for 1,200, <laughs> it's, it's prime. This will uh, just make it. You know, I mean, it'll be a beautiful thing if it could win. Oh, I hope so. It's, it's only paying two twenty as a, as a favourite. It is favourite favourite. So get off it. Get on. No, get on. I'll get on there it. There you go. I mean, go if you got a bet hundred, two hundred, put your house on it. Yeah. Uh, Three thirty race. Put it on your phone account. Horse seven, Rondonella. Ah, Four twenty fixed. Help me. Race seven. Uh, I suppose we're always a bit like that. Horse three, Admiral's Joker. Uh, seven forty and four eighty is fixed. So seven forty being the tote. The McKinnon Stakes is the big one. Race eight. I can't get off this horse. We won it uh, on Derby Day. Derby. Back, backing up again, Jeffy. Derby Day. Right, horse 15, Melody Bell. It's a sensation. It's going up in class a bit. It's a class act from New Zealand. I'll probably go and talk to the connections over there when I'm over there uh, on, on, on tour, you know, when we're on our the cruise over there. 350 is on the tote you'll get for Melody Bell. Watch that one. Could go out. Watch the betting. Jumping quickly to Rose Hill, because, again, betting everywhere. Race one, horse one. Invicta Salute, 450 tote, four fixed. Race four, horse 10, California Longbow. California Dreaming. $6 fixed. Race five, horse 18, but I know. $7 fixed. <laughs> but what? Race six, horse one. It's what I did when I was bowling the other night, Tanker. Wow. 310 fixed. Uh, race seven, horse 10, Real Min Ruby. Seven dollars and running quickly up to Doom Bomb. Doom Bomb. Race three, horse three, like this horse, Soxigan, three twenty to tote. Race five, horse three, scathing, six thirty on the tote. Race seven, horse three, won the other week, fighting Tio. I still think it could probably double up and win again. Four fifty on the tote. And to reel it off, uh could be close special, don't know. Come back, it's race ten, horse five. Chapter and verse has just come back to racing. Uh, he's at nine dollars fixed at the moment. I'm going to put a little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky five to ten on him. So uh, all the best uh, for you punters. It's been a massive, and still continues to be a massive spring carnival, Does. Melbourne Cup carnival. Woo! Well done, Cleo. And uh, all the best horses around there. All the best to all connections, punters, and all well done. Cleves tips. Cleves, what was it again? Cleaves <laughs> chips. <laughs>
hope you've had a great weekend, or I have a great weekend. I hope you've enjoyed the show, and um, no, I've enjoyed it. Glenny. I've been on it. Oh, sorry, it's all, right. it's all good. No, well done to the girls. Sorry, well done to the girls out there, and uh, uh, yeah, have a good weekend, you guys, and uh, all the best. And, uh, You're going to go into a song here, aren't you? Yeah, I can see you. It's song. now or never. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>